Hey everybody, welcome back to Kill Outdoors. Um, this video, I'm pretty much going to walk you through the process that I go through of how to get from this. To this. Got the male, the female. Get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. That right. Tear that deer leg up. <laughs> I'm training, I'm training. <laughs> everybody welcome back to kill outdoors uh this video um a lot of people ask me you know like how you break your dogs training to hunt with you like that you know i know a lot of people who have dogs to hunt with them um i start kind of early uh these pups will be five months old in three days and um i took them out one time last week uh Took him right out the lot, walked him up the old road. I saw a deer cross the road about 50 yards up in front of me. Um, and they showed a lot of interest. They threw their nose up in there and they, you know, they took off for a second. They were smiling around. One of them opened up one or two times. And this is the first time without, you know, they don't even know what a deer is. Um, back during deer season, I threw a few deer legs in there when they was two and three months old. Uh, today is the first day I'm gonna have them out here with a broke dog out here with the mom actually. The mom's a beagle, the dad's a three quarter hound mix. Um, these are two females. I kept four puppies all together. Um, the brothers are a tad bit bigger than them. These are probably, probably end up being about 19 inches maybe, 19 and a half. Um, but yeah, first time out, the mom's in the back. So let's we'll see what we do, see if they go, see if they got any interest. Of course, mama coming on out. It's the first time being in a dog box. Open the dog box. Uh, open the door, baby. Just open the door. I don't come on out. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Might be a little bit of a fall off one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, all right. All right. Hopefully they follow mama. We'll walk around this little cornfield here and see if we can jump some up see if the mama smell anything that's baby girl she is eight and a half years old she's the only beagle i own but um been a hell of a dog yep 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 i'll turn it back on once we get some on the feet that's all right that's your height. That's your height. Get to him. Get to him. Find him, baby girl. Mom's acting like she's smelling something. She's heading up the hill. Two pups following her. Let's see how far they go. Yeah, they're going with her. They're looking for me now. Mama done left them. Yep. Yep. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. Yep. 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 Get them used to the calls. Yep. They know I'm calling them. Hey. Hey. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. Yep. My mom went up that hill. Let's see you. She about to hit on something. What's she doing? Mom well, acts like she's on the track or something. They look like turkey's been in here. This age, you really don't care what they get started on as long as they go. They're following the mama now. Turkey's been up in here. There you go. They're squeaking a little bit, getting excited. That's good.
There you go. There you go. First time out. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Getting excited. Mama's still in front of him going on back up through there. It's all right. It's all right. Mama ain't gonna open till she real, real hot. That's good. That's good. That's good. Mom's still going that way. <clears throat> A lot of turkeys been through here. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Brown one coming back this way. What do you say, girl? What do you say? Get to him. Go get to him. Go get to him. Alright, so as y'all saw in that last video, um, it was the first time in the woods. They were a few days shy of five months old. Didn't expect anything from them, really, to be honest. Just uh, to get them out there. Uh, working with the mom and just covering a little ground, getting them used to uh, some of my calls, like what they mean, uh, and seeing if they would do anything. And um, they did sound out a few times on where some turkeys had been. Um, so that's always a plus. And uh, now in this next clip, they're a little bit older. So uh, see what we got. I shall hike. Find them. Find them. Yep. Find them, baby girl. I shall hike. I'm girl. She smells something. I got to whiff of something for a second. Keep still, keep still. See how long they stay with her. White one, brown one coming back. White one showing good potential. Yeah. Both of them are, but white one's taking a little bit. Mom still ain't said nothing. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Let's see. Whatever they smell, I want no deer. Heck, on the white one. Good, they're going a little bit further. Might be because they can see a little better. Or... Yep, yep. It's us. White one going to it. Break to him. <laughs> Smelling it. There it go. There it go. Get to her. Get to her. White one giving more. Just want to stick stuff. They ain't want to follow anything. <clears throat> all right folks back out here uh pups are a little bit older now um last time i had them out it was five months old now they're seven months old 
I'm just uh not doing too much, just taking it for a quick stroll up this uh, old road back here, around some of my tree stands, seeing if anything get up, just letting them get uh back accustomed to the wood. Um getting them in some thick briars and whatnot. Uh one thing I like to do is when I'm breaking my puppies is to take them through some of the thickest stuff um that I can find and uh letting them hunt around. Um because how often do you be on a uh, stand and you know people have the dogs come through and you say well dang they didn't even touch the cutover or they went in the cutover and then they came back out and went down the edge uh that's why i like to get when i'm breaking them i like to get in there and the thick stuff and have them hunt with me um so they can go through it like like with a fine tooth comb because a lot of times deer still be laid in a, in a drive after people come through with the dogs if, if the dogs don't even um if the dogs don't like you know thick cover or whatnot a lot of times you run into that with some bigger dogs but i do know people that have bigger dogs that they'll go in the cover just like a rabbit dog it's all in how you break them you know and how you train them so like i said there's one thing that i love to do is to get in some of this thickest stuff this time of year i just spray down you know and tick spray or whatnot and uh and uh let them have at it let them hunt around let them let them smell and get used to it Next time I take them out, um, I'm going to bring an older dog with me and I'm going to actually do like a little drive and try to uh, get a piece of game on their feet and hopefully they'll go. Acting like they're smelling a little something now, messing around. Um, the other day they got out the lot and uh, I did hear them chase a rabbit, sight chase a rabbit a little bit. So that was always encouraging. Um, like I said, if you don't have... Um, access to a, you know, a fox pen or a rabbit pen. A lot of people get them started in the fox pen, and then they take them out and you know break them how they want. Um, me personally, I, I can do that. I just like I just like to spend the time with them, you know, uh, help build a closer relationship. I can watch them and see what each dog is doing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish making this circle here. Um, see if anything gets up in front of them or not. Then I'm going to take them and put them up. Until next time. Alright folks, we're back again. Uh, going to turn the puppies loose again tonight. Um, I have been taking just the two, but uh, I know I ain't going to really have time for the next uh, next week and a half, two weeks. So I brought all four of them tonight. Um, hopefully they'll do, do a little more than they've been doing. Um, had a long drive. Came on down here to North Carolina. Uh, a couple of my buddies invited me down to uh, drop them on a deer, see what they can do with them for the first time. So um, hopefully they sent me a little bit stronger, maybe to go a little bit further. Um, maybe I hear some voices I ain't heard uh, before out of them. So y'all stay tuned. And um, I think they said they saw a couple in the field just now. So um, see what we can do. I turn the camera on when it hit the ground. Pups haven't been out um, other than just walk, walked up the road since they were uh, five months old. So they are seven and a half months old. Got both males, both females, and the mom in there. Um, we go see what happens. Mama's on a piece of game. That's her daughter behind her. What is it? Male sound. One of her male puppies. Jump something. Mom sounded up, sounded out on a track. Male starting to hit a little bit, giving her a little interest. Ain't no hot track. Okay, so they all came back. The white one and brown one went a little bit. 
gave some mouth. Uh, the males went for a second. She's smelling them now. White one smelling them. She's running the track backwards, but it don't matter. She's opening up. Baby girl, their mom just went across here on the track. So we'll see what happens. Actually, mom's back over here now. <clears throat> Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. There's the white one, she stopped at the creek. But that was good that she was with the mom. Alright folks, so uh, as y'all seen the other night, uh, the two female pups, she they uh, sounded off on a deer a little bit. They ain't go far, maybe 130 yards, uh, just out of the field. Um, I'm thinking maybe it being dark had a lot to do with it. That and they're, they're still very young. I mean, they're already doing more than you can expect out of a six, seven month old dog. Um, so I decided to come back. Um, that was yesterday. I decided to come back um, this evening a little bit earlier. If you can see a little bit. And um, I had all four of the pups last night, but I'm just taking the females uh, this evening and their mom. And I'm hoping I see it there. I'm going to hold the mom on a leash and uh, let the female pups go over there and smell around and see what they do. And then I'm going to turn, uh, turn the mom loose and see if they'll follow her uh, this time. If I don't see anything, I'll just uh, I'll just walk around the edge of the fields um, until they jump something. Uh, late evenings like this, it's not deer season, so um, deer are starting to ease up a little bit, come back to the fields a little earlier. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Everybody, welcome back to Kill Outdoors. Once again, we're back out here. Um, I took the puppies out last time, as y'all see. I took all four out, and uh, uh, one female she hit a little bit, she stuck a little longer. Um, the other female she hollered once or twice. Then I had um, a male open up um, for the first time, which was good. Um, first time being out since they were seven months old, they hadn't been out since they were five. Um, Taking them out again this evening, um, just the two females uh, with their mom, and um, see if we can't put them on a piece of game. Um, saw a rabbit run across the field here. Um, might start them on that, see what they do with it. And um, hopefully we can get these puppies to, uh, to start sticking in and going and staying. So um, ground time is key, y'all. Keep them on the ground. Must be a rabbit. Get to her. Baby girl. They're gonna mail. I don't know what they are. Other male. Get to him, baby girl. No, that ain't baby girl. That's the brown one. Get to him. Baby girl running that way, coming on around. Oh, they way out in front, baby girl. She running the same track. That's the male. There he is. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Get in here. I'll tell y'all another thing I like to do, um, now this doesn't, this ain't gonna necessarily make your dogs run deer better or whatever, but just as a little treat to the puppies or whatnot, every once in a while I'll go and um, get some old deer meat out the freezer, like ribs that been shot up that nobody wanted at the club or something, and that I've frozen since hunting season. I'll go and, uh, and take it over to the block and uh, chop it up with the ax, little fine pieces, little old rib pieces. Um, deer meat. Some people I know 
they don't give their dogs um, deer meat, but I like to. A little treat for them. And um, get them smelling that taste of deer. Um, I've heard some people say it makes them, you know, when they catch up to a wounded deer, like eat it up. But every dog I've ever owned, they get to a wounded deer, it's going to wish they was dead. Because whether I fed them or not, they're going <laughs> to... They're gonna do what they're supposed to do, so. Um, but yeah, just a little treat that I like to give them. All right. Hey, go, 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 Get to her. I'm gonna just head in the woods here. Head in the woods where I seen her. There we go. I should hike There we go. Hike to her, 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 hike to her. Okay, who's that male up there with it? One male up there with it. Who's this male right here? Okay. That female came back. Right? Okay, that's the male. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's see who I got left by me. Got one nail. The rest in left. There we go. There we go. Alright, the one male that was going. He's coming back. No, oh, he's turning around, he's going again. He's going again. That's your height. <clears throat> Give him a second. Maybe he got to creep. Alright, the same brown female, same male. So two are gone and two are stayed with me. And now uh, they got to a creek and the one male and the one female puppy that was running, uh, they stopped at the creek. Uh, the mother kept going. So now I'm going to call them back to me. And um, so they get to know, you know, my calls as not come here. Yep. Yep. Hike it, 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 hike it. Yep. Hey, good girl. Come on. Come on. One female that went. She just came back from the creek. Hey. Hey. Good job. Good job. That's the other male right there that was with her. Good job. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's find another one. Come on. Alright folks, back again. Uh last video um had one of the males um sound out and, and he went this time uh with the other female. Um the third one went for a little while she turned around and came back. Um and then the one one male he's still going like a hundred yards, turning around, standing at my feet. But that's all right. Uh, came back out here this time. I got three out of the four pups. Um, the one that was standing around my feet, I left him. Uh, but I think he might be holding that third one back a little bit. So uh, we'll see if that third one goes and stays and also see if uh, these other two that uh, went last time, the, the one male in particular, if he'll go and, and, and stay again. Uh, sometimes you, you take him out there, you get frustrated, they'll go They'll go and stay one time. You're like, oh, I got them going, I got them going. You take my dad next time, they don't do much of nothing, you know. Um, that's why you gotta keep putting them on the ground, keep feeding them tracks. Uh, so um, I got out here probably about an hour before dark. Um, I'm hoping that maybe it being a little lighter, uh, they can actually see where they're going, maybe see a piece of game in front of them, um, maybe get a little excitement, and uh, hopefully they'll stick the track a little longer. So. Let's see what happens. Got a piece of game. Both the male and the female pup are running. They're way out in front of them all running. Brown one just hit the track and squeaked on it. She go, she going, but she keep coming back. She's squeaking on it. Get to him. Get to him. There you go. Hike to him. Hike to him. Hike to him. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, as I saw in the last video, Three pups went. Um, the brown one went and came back and went again. Uh, ended up crossing two creeks, and uh, which I was proud of them for that because the creeks had been stopping them. Uh, when they got to the third creek, they did stop at the third creek, uh, and the mother kept on going. Uh, I'm out here uh, one last time today for this video. Um, hopefully, they do well like they did last time. Um, I got a few older dogs with me probably hold them until uh until after the pups get going um and yeah we'll see we'll see what they do um got them started got them going now the most important thing is to keep on feeding them tracks uh driving all the way back down here again um try to put them on a deer to run uh when y'all doing this make sure that you um know all about you know the county and state that you live in and your leash laws and stuff like that you don't want to get in trouble you know behind any of that um 
some people, I know some people train their dogs on foxes as well, or rabbits, or something that you can, you know, legally run. But sometimes I like to take this drive, just, just, you know, just for what, man. There's plenty of deer um, all the way down here, and, uh, and it's, it's very um, easy for them to get a lot of the scent in their nose. So, um, yeah, we're going to see what happens. Uh, turn the camera on once they hit a track. There we go. With the male, the female. Get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. All puppies. All puppies. Little ravine right here. Give him a second, he'll get on the other side. Straighten him out. That's right. Get to him. There you go. There you go. See, they ain't quite got that older dog going around yet to help him out. Give him a second. Give him a second. That's your white. That white dog getting it. Oh yeah. yeah okay. you know, all right. Now she she just she just took on from the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's your height. That's your height. I saw something go this way. That's your height. Yeah, they smell something. There we go. There you go. Look at the mail. They go to the Straighten them out. White one got it. Go on. Get to it. Get to it. <laughs> she flying, ain't it? Go. Get to it. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, get to it. Come on. Got her and gone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get to her, girl. Get to her. She just ain't used to being around the mother dogs. That's all. That brown one throwing some off now. She going back. She going back. That's yours? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She got that other creek over there too though. Uh-huh. There you go. That brown one throwing some more. Well y'all, as you can see in the last video, uh, had all three of mine going. Uh, my buddy's one. Uh it didn't go at first, but then she went to him. Uh and that right there is half the battle, y'all. Getting them started, getting them going. Now all I'm gonna do is just keep Taking them out of there, dropping them on hot tracks, and uh, and just letting them they will, they will progress on their own. But uh, that's how I get my hunting dogs started and um, training them. Like I said, them knowing the calls and stuff, and you know, just tracks. Feed them tracks, y'all. Um, when you train the dogs, have patience with them. Have patience with them. each dog progresses at their own pace. Like I said, that white puppy that I have, she was natural born right from the beginning you know four months old she smelled a deer and hollered out she didn't know what it was like i said but then you got the other ones like uh, my fourth puppy that isn't started yet but i'm gonna I'm work with him 
and get him going. And uh, as y'all see, some, it takes some time. It can take a couple times. Sometimes you might go out there 15, 20 times before they uh, before they hit and, and go. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, hope maybe you learned a little something. If you didn't, hope you enjoyed just watching me and how I do it. Um, as always, I appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe, tell somebody about it, and I'll see y'all next time.